Hi, this is Charlie. Um, today I'm going to show you how to add multiple users to your Nexus 7 or your Nexus 10 um, tablets. Um, if you look at the at the home screen or your your lock screen, you will see there's no users on there right now because there's only one person using that tablet, so it's, it automatically goes to that person's profile. Um, to add a second user on there or multiple users, you go to you bring down your bar, and as you can see. My wife, that's my wife's tablet, she think it's hers. <laughs> but, um, but that's her profile right there. So what we're going to do is add another profile to it. So we can go to settings. From here, we can just go to settings here. Just click, go into settings. Or if you want to, from there, you go into settings, from your settings, usual settings spot. You go down to users, which is right here. You click on users. And it's going to open and you're going to see the owner one owner and right up in the right hand corner you're going to add a user i'm going to tell you is the person here right now to do it and blah 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 and you click okay and you're going to throw a whole, sort of pro a whole process of adding the user depending on um so you click on setup And you're going to go through the setup process. Now, in the lock screen, things have changed. Now you're going to see both users here. The person that you're going to set up, so you can see there's no picture. And the person who had a the, the, the original owner of the, of the pad, which was my wife. So now we click. If you click on, on hers, it's going to pop up. So, and that's the one that you're going to slide into. But we want to go into new user. So we click on there, it pops up, and we open the lock screen. Uh, we get a, it's going to give you a welcome, and you're going to click next. Depending on, depending on, um, do you have a Google account? You're going to say yes, and it's going to ask you to put in the email. So I'm going to put in my. You don't have to put in the whole at whatever. And you're gonna go up and put the password. And that's the one I'm gonna off screen for a while. And like I was saying, depending on the amount of apps and information and pictures or whatever that you have with um, Google, it might the process might take a bit of time, but. Most times it just, it just flies through. So it's signing in and collecting information. All your data from Google, if you have a lot of data saved with Google, is gonna bring it in into your account. That's why they said sign in can take a few minutes. And it's doing this thing in the background, I guess. And also, my internet is a bit slow today, too. So, keep in mind, I'm at work, so. And you want to track your location. You know, Google always want to track you down and you know it's up to you if you are so it's finishing up one thing I've noticed is that on my Nexus 7 even if, even if I'm running um, 4.2 on my Nexus on my Galaxy Nexus I c it doesn't seem that I can, I can add a second user I don't know if that's because it's a it's a ROM and it's not in there, or if, it, if that's how it is, I need to find out. Um, I can I can add a, I can add another account, but I cannot add a user. It should be it should be above right here, above personal. 
but there's nothing there. So we're still waiting. So if you watch my last video, you will see that um, setup is complete. If you watch my last video, you'll see that I have 4.2 running on all my on my device right now. This one came in over the ear, but those two, my Nexus Galaxy Nexus and my Motorola Zoom, I had to. They they rooted, so I just add it as a run, and that's where it's it's basically done, and you can start to customize your stuff how you want it. As simple as that, and it's still working in the background. I feel it because I have a I have, a, I have two I have a bunch of launches on there, so it's trying to figure out so here we go so it's all emptied out and that's where you're gonna start going into here and and customizing things how you want it you know you bring your you go to your widgets and you bring your widgets in and you customize your screen however you want your screen um, Another thing, if you bring down, yeah, you're gonna see that the, that the new user has been added on there. Uh, you can go into let me see. Let's see if we can go into settings and white. So you can go into settings. So and go into users again, and you can see it's it's in there. And users info. And you can put a message if you want in the lock screen. So you can put. Um, I suppose I want to put Charlie. show up in the lock screen and also I can click on there and you're gonna click right on here and you're gonna click uh, choose a photo and you're gonna put a photo or picture in I just happen to have one picture in my profile so we're gonna choose that picture we're gonna crop it This video is taking a lot longer than I thought because my device is working a bit slow today. So we can crop, make it smaller, click OK, save a picture, click done. Now that should change in a while to show that done. And if we turn the screen off, when you turn the screen back on, that will that will show up here. Right there. But this is how you add a, a a user profile onto your Nexus 7 or any any um device running 4.2 this is Charlie out